Night time, my peeps. Night time, my peeps. Welcome once more to Yardman Second Chance. I'm bigging up my sponsor, Did Fashion over there in New York City. Bronx, Boogie Down, the Big Apple at 762 Burke Avenue. The opening hour is our Tuesdays to Fridays, 10 a.m. to 10, 9 p.m. 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Tuesday to Friday. And on Saturdays, they open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And they also open on a Sundays when it's a holiday. And big up Pablo, Millennium Records, 228 and White Plains Road. Okay, as you know, our program inspire, inform, educate, and motivate. We're still in Black History Month and a Reggae Month. So I'm going to start my show this evening by playing a Bob Marley. Let's go. Old pirates. Yes, the rabbi died to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I. From the bottomless pit But my hand was made strong By the end of the Almighty We forward in this generation Triumphantly Won't you help me sing The songs of freedom all I ever had Redemption song Redemption song Emancipate yourself from mental slavery But ourselves can free our mind Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop at the time Long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look. Some say it's just a part of it. Got to fulfill the book. Alright, my peeps, that's Bob Marley. Yeah, what Bob, brother Bob Marley say? They said it's part of it to kill our prophets while we just stand aside and look. Well, in my previous blog, I was reading out some names of some inventors. But today I have a special, special name I want to talk about. And this gentleman is Daniel A. Williams, a doctor. He's the first black cardiologist. Listen good. He's the first black cardiologist. He performed the very first successful open heart surgery and founded the first non-segregated hospital. And that hospital is Provident Hospital. That's in Chicago. He founded this hospital in 1891. Imagine that. He founded this hospital in 1891. He was born in Pennsylvania and he did this open surgery in 1893. Other people tried it before but it wasn't as successful. He, he did it successfully as a black man. So we have a lot to be proud of friends. My subscribers, we have a lot to be proud of. I'm going to continue reading out these names of these inventors we continue with the name of all these inventors the other day I stopped at lunch pail by James Robinson invented in 1887 I'll continue reading now the mailbox invented by Paul L Downing in 1891 the mop 
that he used to map your floor. Invented by Thomas W. Stewart in 1893. The peanut butter. Well, let's say you love the peanut butter and bread. That was invented by George W. Carver in 1896. Pencil sharpener invented by John L. Love in 1897. The record player arm, you know the arm that you hold to put the, the, the needle down on the record? The record player arm invented by Joseph H. Dickinson in 1819. The rolling pin invented by John W. Reed in 1864. Shampoo address Charles Oren Balif in 1898. The spark plug. Huh. Imagine that. The spark plug that you use in your car was invented by Edmund Berger in 1839. The stethoscope. Invented by Thomas A. Carrington in 1876. Straightening comb that the black woman used to straighten their hair. Invented by Madame G. C. J. Walker in 1905. The street sweeper. You know the mash in the street is um, sweep the street. The Street Sweeper, invented by Charles B. Brooks in 1890. The Phone Transmitter, invented by Granville T. Woods in 1884. The Thermostat Control, invented by Frederick M. Jones in 1960. The Traffic Light. Everybody know the traffic light. Invented by Garrett Morgan in 1923. And last but not least, the tricycle. You know the tricycle? For kids to learn to ride with the two balancing wheels. That was invented by Matthew A. Cherry in 1896. So all these names that I call are, are black men. Who have invented all this stuff and we now in these days thinking it was invented by the white man not so my friend go and check out this you can google them all the names I've called you can google them and see the invention that all these black men did I want to read something else about these two sisters, Mary and Mildred Davison. Mary and her sister Mildred patterned many practical inventions. They didn't have technical education, but they were both exceptional at spotting ways to make people's life better. Together, they invented the sanitary belt. Later, Mary invented the moisture resistant pocket for the belt. While disabled from multiple sclerosis, Mary went on to invent the walker. You know the walker that those people used to walk with? Yeah. Mary invented the walker on the toilet tissue holder. So imagine that. Even these black women were so great. Nowadays we all hear of any new invention. Because those are since the 18 centuries. It's still those inventions of those black people. That's still going on strong today. All over. Worldwide. All over. And yet still they don't give the black man no ratings. And we were the first people to invent most of those things that you hear I read out right there. So, we're a very proud race 
the black race as it's black history month this is my celebration right i know my subscribers are celebrating the black history month too and the reggae month our reggae king bob marley the greatest in the world all over everybody know about bob marley so my peeps keep on watching yardman second chance where we inform inspire educate and motivate so you can know what's happening right so keep on subscribing to my channel and as i go i want to continue finish up with this bob marley i was playing old pirates because they really rob us even our inventions and take it for theirs right so just stand up for your rights as brother bob marley say listen up now rabbi merchant ships after the two kai from the bottomless pit but my was made strong at the end of the almighty we forward in this generation triumphantly won't you help me sing these songs of freedom is all i ever had redemption song redemption song Emancipate yourself from mental slavery But ourselves can free our mind No fear for atomic energy None of them can stop the time Blessings peeps This is Yardman Second Chance Saying peace and we are out Keep on subscribing to my channel and big up my subscribers over there in New York, Deeds Fashion. Blessings.